Happy Sunday. I'm going to share something with you that I do every Sunday. I get up, I have my coffee, and I read the wedding announcements in the New York Times. And today, and hopefully every Sunday from now on, I will share with you some of my favorite wedding announcements. Stephen Bryant and Darren Woods. Stephen William Bryant and Darren Keith Woods are to be married Sunday evening at the Oscar Siegel Memorial Theater at the Siegel Music Colony in Shroon Lake, New York. The Reverend Dr. Stephen W. Gentle, a Disciples of Christ minister, is to officiate. Mr. Bryant, 56, is an independent wig and makeup designer and has worked for opera companies in the United States and abroad. He graduated from North Carolina Wesleyan College. He's the son of the late Sylvia Joyner Bryant and the late William C. Bryant, who lived in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Mr. Woods, 54, is the general and artistic director of the Fort Worth Opera Company in Fort Worth and the artistic director of the Seagull Colony. Until 99, he was a freelance tenor. He is the vice chairman of Opera America, a service organization in New York, for opera companies in the Americas. He graduated from the University of Houston. He's the son of Loretta Adler of McKinney, Texas, and the late Dwayne K. Woods, who lived in Houston. The couple met at the Siegel Colony during the summer of 1980 when Mr. Bryant was one of the people who picked up Mr. Woods and two other summer apprentices at the Albany Airport. Uh. I was busy doing costumes and was ordered to go to the airport, said Mr. Bryant, who remembered Mr. Woods, had long hair and platform shoes. They were at least three inches high. Mr. Bryant made no attempt to hide his contempt during the ride to the Adirondacks. I thought he hated me on sight said Mr. Woods, who was attracted to Mr. Bryant nonetheless. He was the most handsome man I'd ever seen. That evening, Mr. Bryant's sour mood seemed to lift, and they began talking. Mr. Woods, who never used a needle and thread, began to volunteer in the costume shop every chance he got. He sewed on buttons, iron clothes, and spray-painted shoes. He hung around me a lot, Mr. Bryant said. About a week into the season, it dawned on Mr. Woods that Mr. Bryant might like him, too. <laughs> I was sitting on the way left side of the theater, said Mr. Woods, who was watching a run-through of the show. He came all the way from the right side, where the costume shop was, to sit next to me. <laughs> Soon, they were spending nearly all of their time together. As the end of the season approached, Mr. Woods planned to head back to Texas and Mr. Bryant to North Carolina. They were sitting on a dock when, according to Mr. Woods, Mr. Bryan said, I guess I'll have to move to Texas! <laughs> we were kids and didn't know the commitment we were making, Mr. Woods said. We were in love and wanted to be together. Mr. Bryant went back to North Carolina, packed up, and headed for Texas a few weeks later. My mother wanted me to bring something nice home from New York, Mr. Woods said. She meant a T-shirt, and I brought home a boyfriend. 